Yep, we're literally swapping the battery pack out of this Tesla into our other Tesla and all in the backyard with simple hand tools. Almost any technician should be able to do that. The donor car is the 2013 Tesla Model S we bought from a salvage auction with 128,000 miles and that's what we're seeing here right now after dropping out the battery pack out of this one and you can see we just use four floor jacks to raise up the car body and uh, the battery pack sits on those pallets and uh, yeah that's how we got it out here it is got the battery pack out on the back end here those are the electrical connections danger high voltage and then what we got here i think here uh I think I believe there's the other fuse under there, the pyro fuse. This got to be a breather. These here are the coolant connections. So this is the front here that we're looking at. And uh, let's see here. 400 volts, 85 kilowatt hours. The part number has a B, so that's the first revision. A would be the first one. But yeah, overall, it worked out decent. Getting it out is not a big deal. It drops real easy if you get all the bolts out. <laughs> um, getting it in is a little different story. So we'll figure that out later. Now this here is a time lapse and we're looking at our 2013 200,000 mile Tesla Model S and we're going to take the battery out of this one and stick the donor battery in here and you can see the donor battery towards the left hand side there on the screen it's behind the car on the ground still on that same pallet ready to be pulled under this car after getting the pack out we do it basically the same way uh, you can see we got uh, the car on the floor jacks there and i have to take the wheels off and because the ground is not level the front end of the car actually tries to roll away the jacks have the floor jacks have rollers uh, and so the car was trying to roll downhill so I had to hold it in place with the strap there using my tractor so that it doesn't slide off sideways. And yeah, the, uh, this is on gravel, still out in the backyard. So I put some cardboard down to lay on it and for the floor jacks to roll, I did the same thing as I did with the salvage one. Um, I put uh, boards down for the jacks to roll on. Now we're lowering the body down so that the battery pack sits on the pallet and now the body goes back up and now we have a battery pack sitting there under the car just like we did with the salvage one. And so I got to move the tractor around, we hook the strap up and there we go, pull the battery pack out under, pull the battery pack off to the side, pull the other pack under the car and that's relatively tricky because you gotta line this up pretty good so we had to pull it push it a little bit move it around and now we're lowering the body back down onto that battery pack and we're trying to align this pack this was the tricky part to get this aligned this is much easier if you can do this in a shop um, with a two post lift obviously but we got it in there and so put the wheels back on and set it up and do all the finishes and all the little 
things that need to be done after putting it in, bolting it up. There's a bunch of bolts and uh, yeah, but we got it in there and then at the end both packs have coolant in them since it came out of a donor car it was not a new pack so we needed to top off um, some of the coolant and uh, in this case we used uh, the tesla toolbox which is the software you can rent that online <coughs> and uh, to bleed the system you need to bleed the coolant system and the Tesla toolbox allows you to run uh, the pumps and bleed the system like that yeah the, the trickiest part is getting it aligned perfectly on the there since yeah this is all uh, uneven and uh, yeah, that makes it a little tricky. You gotta be careful that you get your uh, connectors in the back, those quick connectors that they line up perfectly. You wanna check that multiple times as you're lowering the car body onto the battery. I use the mirror. Uh, in the beginning, you can kinda see it, um, but later you will need a mirror to get up there and just see that it lines up right and uh, so that those connectors go in if that uh, if those connectors don't line up you might crush them and then you would have to replace them and that's obviously not what we want but overall this it's not hard to do um, it's a little time consuming it's actually not bad the battery drops out in probably about an hour and i would say maybe goes back in in about an hour and a half for us so you're into that job somewhere total with everything about three to four hours yep we got it all done the battery packs in there and the car is driving again all you need to do is a software update so that basically the battery pack gets paired to your car and uh, if you have toolbox you can request a software update through toolbox or now that you can access service mode even in these older cars anywhere um, you can actually just uh, use service mode and request the software update and then after that the car is drivable now why did we replace the battery pack no the battery pack was not bad the problem was the contactors were bad or about to go out we already had a fault code for a while you may have seen some of our videos where i point that out that we had a power restriction and that was due to the contactors and these contactors are inside the battery pack uh, at the back of the pack and uh, to replace those contactors you have to open up the battery pack get in there and replace those and you cannot buy these parts from tesla tesla doesn't sell you any parts that are inside the battery pack so rather than opening up two battery packs and just swapping the contactors uh, it's much easier to just swap the whole battery pack and now our 200,000 mile Tesla, actually it had 201,000 miles on it when we pulled the pack out, um, now has, or at that point had 128,000 miles on it. In the meantime, uh, by the recording of this video, we already put an additional 10,000 miles on it. So <laughs> we've been driving it uh, quite a bit. But yes, the pack was not bad and the 200,000 mile pack now uh, is being taken apart. I'm going to pull the modules out and we got more videos coming on that. Also, uh, if you're interested, I can have way more videos about taking the salvage Tesla apart. I got lots of stuff recorded, so I can show you some of that here in the future as well. Um, also go down below in the description and click the link to our Redbubble store. We got some electrifying merch there. 
Um, if you're newer to the channel and haven't been following us for a while, then maybe look at our channel page, look at the uh, videos we have, the older videos. There is lots of good information there. Um, everything's still relevant. It's not like stuff is really outdated. Most of it is uh, road trips, winter driving, summer driving, uh, long road trips, planning road trips, all kinds of good stuff there. So maybe go check some of those videos out and also make sure you're subscribed to the channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of the future videos. So in any event, please give us a thumbs up for this video. Make sure you're subscribed, hit the notification bell, and we'll see you next time. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.